Hey, what's up guys, Nintendo Fanboy446 here. Merry Christmas. I, ho I hope you guys are having a fantastic holiday. And to celebrate Christmas, I want like to, this is the first time I'm actually doing this. I would like to do a What I Got for Christmas 2016 video. Now, I used to watch YouTubers who do that, and I always wanted to try that. So, I'm going to try it with this here. Now, it's not, it's also gonna, not just going to be showcasing my stuff, it's also going to be opening my stuff. Because I haven't opened my presents yet. I mean, I unwrapped them, but I didn't take, them, take the stuff out of the boxes. So, yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And, for question of the day, what did you get for, what, what did you get for Christmas? Alright guys, so far for to do, let's take a look at the stuff. Now, I hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas. You know what? Let's start with the boring stuff. Alright. Clothes! Alright. New socks. I got that from my uncle, I believe, for Christmas. Hey, I need new socks anyway, so thank you, uncle. I don't think you're watching this, but yeah. We got socks right here. Let's try and get everything into the camera frame. New shirts, I believe I got that from... Hmm... I think I got it from my cousin. So, thank you cousin for the shirts, appreciate it. I actually needed these because these actually look really nice, I'm not gonna lie. I actually do like those. And, I shouldn't even show this, but... Boxer briefs. Thank you, um... Other cousin, I guess. Um, yeah. Thank you, other cousin. So, yeah, that's close stuff. I also got this shirt from my, 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 my other cousin. I had a lot of cousins over yesterday, didn't I? Yeah. Got this shirt from my other cousin. So, thank you. If you're watching this, I don't think you are. I'm 100% sure you're not, but thank you. Hopefully, you guys, even though you guys, hopefully, you guys, no matter what you guys get, Always be appreciative for your gifts because it's that's not what Christmas is about. It's about getting cool gifts and be like, you know, it's about, you know, appreciating the people who give it to you and appreciating that those people are there for you in your life. So I just hope that all you guys know that for everybody who watches my videos. And yeah, because Christmas is a important holiday to me, to me, it's because, you know, um, it's the day Jesus was born and that's a big day deal for me. All right. Now, let's get into some of the exciting stuff. Alright. Alright. So, for Christmas, I got a bunch of Amiibo. So, here's one of them. Kirby from the new Kirby line of Amiibo that came out in with Kirby Planet Robobot back in June. So... We're going to be opening this bad boy up because, you know, you guys know, even though I haven't bought Amiibo in a while, I still collect them. I, it's just that they're so common now. I, when, I, when, the time, when, when, I, when the time is right, when they're lower price, I will get them, which was Christmas because they had Christmas deals. So I took advantage of that. So let's check it out. As you can see, it says Kirby. It says Kirby on top with the star on the, uh, with the, star on the top right. And it says Amiibo and Nintendo Amiibo, Kirby the figure in the middle, and very cool picture of Kirby writing star on the back, on the front, on the top. Discover the power inside, collect, customize, and compete. What does it say? You can use this Amiibo in. Um, you can use this Amiibo in Kirby Planet Robot. Kirby gets a special copy ability. So yeah, here's a picture. So if you don't know about Kirby Planet Robot, when you scan a Kirby Amiibo or any amiibo in general, they'll give you one of Kirby's copy abilities based on like the theme of that amiibo. Let's say it's Mario, you know how he's like shoots, he has fireball, you'll get the fire ability. For Link, he has a sword, you'll get the sword ability. So it's like that, it's, it's not really themed to the character, it's just like one of the copy abilities that is in the game that most closely relates to that character. So yeah, alright, let's get her open. Let's get him open. Why did I say her? Guys, I know Kirby is a boy. Uh, that just slipped. I don't know why. If we can get this thing out, thank you. Wow, Nintendo is really trying to secure those amiibos now. And here we have the Kirby amiibo from the Kirby Planet Robobot. 
That looks actually really cool. I actually like it. I might I actually think I like this better than the uh, other Kirby Amiibo. You know what? I'll do you know what? I'll do a comparison at the end for all the Amiibos. So, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. So, we're going to put Kirby here. Make sure you're facing the camera, Kirby. Good talk. All right. Next, we have King Didi from the Kirby series of Amiibo. So, yeah, let's check him out. It says Kirby King Didi has a awesome picture of King Didi, King Didi the figure inside Nintendo Amiibo. Discover the power inside, collect customized IP. You can use this Amiibo in Kirby Planet Robobot to get the hammer ability and a cool Didi hat if I believe so. Yep, I was right. The DDD right there, the cow, the cool Kirby with the camera, with the hat and the hammer ability, and King DDD right there. As you, as you know, you can use it in Wii U and 3DS. You, you also you can use these amiibos for Smash Bros. Any amiibo that's from a different series, but that's of the same character from that's playable in Super Smash Bros. You can is compatible with the game. So just note that. So let's get this. Oh, what the King DDD Jesus. Oh, just so you guys know, you guys are probably like, why are you destroying the boxes? The, I, you know how you guys know how I used to cut out the cards? That was only for the Smash Bros. Amiibos, so that I can cut the crack of post, put them on my wall, so I can look, so when I go to bed, I have the Smash Bros. roster right there. Speaking of Smash Bros., they still have not released the Corrin, Cloud, and Bayonetta Amiibo. That's gotta happen pretty soon, before Smash Bros. NX, Smash Bros. Switch comes out. Wow, this, uh, he's pretty heavy. I haven't touched the heavy amiibo in a while, actually. There's King DDD. He's telling you to stop and stop before you watch this video. Like it. Yes. He looks pretty cool. It's definitely not as as like detailed as like the um, Smash Bros. one, but that's because you know this is just like the basic Kirby one. You know the one from like Kirby. It's not much detail to it. It's more detail into the Smash Bros. Because you know they have how they like I don't know what, how to call it. How they like make the Smash Bros. characters look more. Detail, let's do a quick 360. Yeah, I think he looks nice. I, I prefer the Smash Bros. one, but I like this one as well. Alright, King Diddy, hang out with your bro, your boy Kirby. Oh, let's get some more Amiibo. Throw the trash to the side. Hmm. Alright, let's get to the next line of Amiibo over here. Alright, who should I open first? Alright, let's open it. Alright, so the next line is Amiibo is, as you guys know, a new Mario Party game came out, which was Mario Party... What was it called? Mario Party Toad Scramble? I don't know. If if I know the name, I'll put it somewhere over here. But, um, yeah, there was a new Mario Party that came out in November, and alongside, it had a new Amiibo functionality, so they created... They, Created a new line of amiibos. Not really a new line of amiibos. A way, another wave for a old line of amiibos. As you guys know, when Mario Party 10 came out, came out, they released um a new line of amiibos called the Super Mario amiibos, which had a different version of Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, Bowser, which was completely different from the Smash Bros. amiibos. So they had that, and they also made an exclusive Gold Mario and Silver Mario, which was pretty cool. I do have those in my um, display case, but um yeah. So they created, they added, they made a bunch of new ones for the new Mario Party, which is really cool. There's Wario, Waluigi, Diddy Kong, Donkey Kong, Rosalina, Daisy. I have most of them, not all of them. So I'm going to be showing you the ones I got. And yeah, let's get right into it. All right. Let's take a look at Wario. As you can see, Super Mario, Wario, Nintendo Amiibo, Wario posing, trying to flex on us. And... You have this picture right there. This is very different from the Smash Bros. Amiibo because in the Smash Bros. Amiibo, he's from he's in his WarioWare outfit. In this, he's in the classic Wario outfit from, from Mario. Let's go over the power inside. Collect, customize, and compete. Use this Amiibo figure in Super Mar in Mario Party Star Rush. There's the game. See, I oh, dang, I forgot. Wario will appear with an in-game item to help take on powerful foes. They say that's so dramatic. To help take on powerful foes with Amiibo. I really should work for Nintendo. I really would love to do it in the future, though. Nintendo, if you're watching this video, email me. All right. So let's take, let's open up Wario. He was much easier than the Kirby Amiibo. I just, I just boom. 
Why was that so easy? It's, I, I think he's probably heavy. Um, he's, he's got weight to it. He's not, like, heavy, but he's got weight to it. Oh, wow, this looks really cool. I, li I like this amiibo. I, like, I, I actually do like Wario. And I do have another Wario figure in the back, similar to this, like this, except he's not like, Ugh. But let's take a look at him. Wario looks really nice. Like, that's actually a really detailed figure. Well, actually, no, it's not detailed. I, ju I, I just like the way it looks. That's my opinion. <laughs> you better like this video. I actually like that amiibo. That looks really cool. Let's put him over here. Hopefully you guys can see them. Yeah, you guys can see them in the background. All right. Next amiibo. Oh, who should I? Oh, let's do Bay. Let's do Bay. All right. So we're gonna un unbox Bay. All right. Next in the series is Super Mario's Bay. As you can see, it says Super Mario over here. It says Bay over there. Bay on the side. You got the figure of Bay. You got the picture of Bay over here. Nintendo amiibo. Cover the power inside. Collect, customize, compete. Use this amiibo in Super Mario Party Star Rush. Star Rush. To get to get an in-game item. Battle foes and enemies. And you got the picture of Bay with the Monty Mole. And you got the figure right there. So, let's open up Bay. That took a little strength, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, Bay coming through. Alright. And as you see, looking at the Bay Amiibo, this looks pretty dang good. I actually like this Amiibo a lot. I might like it better than Smash Bros. just because it doesn't have Luma next to Bay, so... Can you look? Nope, no. So I'm, I might have to cut that out. But uh, let's take a look at the Bay Amiibo. As you can see, look at her with her nice blue dress. One thing I noticed that's different is that on the, on the Smash Bros. one, you have like stars on her dress, but it's not there. So I guess that's what it's like in the Mario series. Man, we need another Galaxy game. I, after I saw that 3D Mario game on freaking Switch, I'm hoping that's Galaxy. Please excuse that interruption. I'm not going to pick that up. A and her nice crown. Bay looks really cool. This is a cool amiibo. I like the Bay amiibo. But all right, you gotta move over, Kirby. Make sure as long as yeah, we can still see you guys. All right, all right, Bay, come through. All right, we got. I think we got. We're up. We're on to our no, our last two amiibos for this series. So who should I open first? I'll open. I'll open your homie first. All right, we got Diddy Kong. Oh, this looks pretty cool. Let's look at it. As you can see, you got Super Mario, Diddy Kong, Diddy Kong right here on the side. Picture of Diddy Kong of his pose right here, the figure right here, Nintendo Amiibo. Scar the power inside, collect, customize, compete. Use his Amiibo in Mario Party Star Rush to get, it comes with an in-game item to battle foes and enemies. And Monty Mo figure. Let's do it. Let's see if I can open this with my eyes closed. Oh, did it fly out? I felt something fly out. Alright, let's see. I, I seriously felt something fly out. I don't know what that was. Oh, it was Rosalina! <laughs> she, Bay, I mean, no, not Rosalina. Her name's not Rosalina. Bay. Bay fell out. Sorry, Bay. Alright, let's get all that. And look at Diddy Kong. I can tell you right now, this is better than the Smash Bros. one just because his stand is like yellow, so it looks like piss coming out. It's just, no. That was back when Nintendo put those stands. I mean, they still do, but like they make them clear now. But let's look at the homie dits. Yo, my son Diddy Kong down on his barrel rapid. Hey, all right, look at my son Diddy Kong. Let's take a look at him. Very cool figure indeed. It's just sitting on the barrel, just happy. And actually, I just realized, is this the first time Diddy Kong is playable in a Mario Party game? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not. I don't plan on getting Mario Party Star Wars just because it's trash. But hey, maybe he is. I I'm, I gotta watch Sully Pons' Let's Play of it. Maybe he is playable. But yeah, let's take one more look at Diddy Kong. Do quick 360 rotation because I don't think I gave you guys a good enough look for him. 
All right, Diddy Kong. Let's put you over here. And the last one in the Super Mario series is Donkey Kong. Let's take a look at him. Yo. Donkey bitch ass. All right, Dashy, don't watch this video. All right, as you can see, Super Mario, Donkey Kong. There's the Donkey Kong picture right there. Donkey Kong on the side. The figure right here, Nintendo Amiibo. Let's go with the power inside. Collect customizing feet. You can use this Amiibo in Mario Party Star Rush. To collect an in-game item. Battle foes and enemies. Wii U, 3DS. Wii U, new 3DS, 3DS. Figure is a picture. What is that a picture of? Donkey Kong about to throw a shell. Of course. He's probably throwing at a Yoshi. We all know that. All right. Oh, who fell? The king. Oh, no. We're sorry. All right. Let's open up. Donkey Kong. Oh, ah! <laughs> the figure fell on my leg. Damn, that hurt. Oh, but damn. damn. All right, let's take a look at that. You know what's funny? I don't have the Yoshi amiibo from the Super Mario series. I gotta collect Luigi, Yoshi, and Peach from the Super Mario line. I need to get to that. And here, wow, he looks cool, actually. I love his fur. Bay. You gotta relax. I know he's like hairy for you, but like, damn. This looks cool. This looks cool. Let's take a look at it. This is actually the post from Mario Party 10. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. His hair is like, let me see if I can get it to focus. Nope, sadly not. Probably because I'm using the front camera, but maybe the video will look better. Bah! 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 Alright, quick 360. And yeah, the Donkey the Don Kong figure. That looks really cool. We got two more Amiibos left. So let's get right into them. Now, these aren't from the Super Mario line or the Kirby, so... Oh wait, no, no, no. We got three more Amiibos left. And you'll see what I mean by that. And it's just an after in just a second. Alright, we got... This is another series of Amiibo. This is Splatoon. As you guys know, they released Splatoon Amiibos that came alongside with the game when it came out in the launch on May 29th, 2015, which came with the, well, they didn't come, the game didn't come with it, they, they were they were just released alongside the game. It was, there was a, the Inkling Boy, the Inkling Girl, and the Inkling Squid. But the Inkling Squid, you could only get an exclusive three pack, which contained all three of them. But the Inkling Boy and Inkling Girl were sold separately, just not the Squid. So if you wanted the Squid, you had to get the three pack. I got the three pack, you can check that unboxing. <clears throat> but, like, a year later, they released more Amiibo of Cali, and Marie, the Squid Sisters, and they also released alternate colorations of the Inkling Boy, Squid, and Girl, which is in a three pack, which I have not gotten yet, but I will get to that. So, yeah, I wanted these more. If I had to pick, I would pick these. Just because they're the Squid Sisters and they're freaking awesome. If you guys play Splatoon, you probably love them as well. Also, Team Cali for that Splatfest. All right, let's take a look at the figures. As you can see, we got Callie and Marie, Splatoon, Callie and Marie. There's a picture of Callie, and there's Marie, Nintendo Amiibo. Let's go over the power inside, collect, customize, and compete. Nintendo Wii U, 3DS, and that. Use these Amiibos figures in Splatoon to see a special performance. Check out our fresh new song, Squid Sisters. Just a picture. Now, <laughs> alright, this is my assumption. Nintendo thought, okay, first of all, Splatoon was a big success. Nintendo thought we should need more amiibos because more merchandise for Splatoon means more big bucks. Hmm, but if we're gonna make new amiibo figures, we gotta find out a functionality. Let's make Callie and Marie amiibos, but what will we do that will make them special? Let's make them do a cool performance that doesn't really do anything and that doesn't really do anything to affect the player. Yeah, that'll make us money. I mean, it did. But, alright, let's open this up. Oh, this box is gonna hurt, but I don't care about it. All right, Callie Marie, escape your fortress. All right, here we go. Let's get Marie out. God damn it, Marie. Girl, what's good with you? And Callie. I just realized if you put them together, it makes Calimari. Yeah, I'm late. All right, so who do I want to show first? All right, you know what? Let's save the best for last. All right, let's show off Callie first. Callie looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like her green coloring. 
her hair, and she looked. Not the I'm, da. I have nothing to say, and yeah, oh that booty, that booty, psych. It's just a toy, guys. For anybody watching this video that's younger, I'm sorry. And yeah, she looks pretty dang good. I like the the what is that like a barrette or something? Whatever that is, I like it. I like I like her amiibo. It looks pretty dang cool. All right. And let's take a look at Callie. This looks awesome. She is freaking bomb. She's boss. She's hot. I mean nothing. I love her. I love the hot pink ink. That looks just so dope. She's like so such a good color. And you know you got her. I'm assuming this is a barrette as well. And you got her bow bow tie for her her hair right here. You damn Callie, you styling. All right, quick 360. And that's Callie. Pretty cool. Pretty dang cool indeed. Alright, don't fall while I'm getting the other stuff. Alright, just put that over there. Alright, now before I get to this, the, the big the big stuff. Um, let me show you guys some of the, the mini stuff I got for Christmas. I got a card from my cousin. I have a lot of cousins, just so you know. I got this from my mom. Which is like cologne, I think. I don't know. And I also got this for my mom. A $35 eShop card. Which was from, in my stocking. So, yeah. Definitely going to use that to get some stuff. Thank you, mom. Alright. Now let's get into the big, the big stuff. What do I want to open? I'll open what I'm most excited for last. So, let's open this. As you guys know, in March, I think I think in March, Nintendo remade The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for an HD remake on the Wii U, which had a bunch of... Yeah, God damn it, Callie. So yeah, they made a remake on the Wii U, came out, had new Amiibos and stuff, and it was really cool, and I never got to play Twilight Princess HD, so this was my opportunity, so I'm like, wow, I want this game, because I want, a, I want 100% this game before Breath of the Wild comes out, because... I need to play a bunch of Zelda games before Breath of the Wild comes out. I played Majora's Mask, played Wind Waker. Now, now I'm gonna get to play Twilight Princess. So yeah, I, for Christmas I got the Twilight Princess game, the Amiibo bundle that came with the Amiibo. So this is gonna be awesome. Let's take a look at the box because we need to really appreciate that artwork and stuff and how good that looks. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. It has the Amiibo on the bottom, the Wolf Link, which I am so excited to open. Wii U, Link on Epona, Wolf Link with Minna. Shows about what the amiibo does and locks inclusive dungeon. What the other amiibos do. Link and Toon Link refill your arrows. Zelda and Sheik refill your hearts. Ganondorf does double damage if you want a challenge. Which I am. Hell no, I ain't doing that. You crazy. I'm a, I'm a Zelda noob. Become a legend in HD. Look at all that. I'm pretty sure it's all on the back of the case. On the amiibo function shows you pictures of the game. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, yeah. Let's open this. Oh God, I need I need something sharp. Um, crap. Do I have something? I gotta have something sharp. Maybe I can just peel that plastic stick sticky thing off. Oh wow, we're at twenty four minutes. Surprise! God, I think I got it. Oh no, it's gonna ruin the box. No, please. Oh. I was gonna keep the box, but I'm gonna keep the box still. Pretend that's not there, because I'm gonna be having it on my shelf like that. So I think we'll be good. I'm trying to open this as carefully as pop. God damn it. So, in the box, I'm going to have this in the background. It literally is packaged like this. The Amiibo in the box and the game right in the back. So, before we take a look at the... Oh, my God. Before we take a look at the game, let's take a look at the Amiibo. 
This <clears throat> is Legend of Zelda Wolf Link, and it has Midna on Wolf Link. I am so excited to open this amiibo. A very nice artwork of Wolf Link and Midna right here, the figure right there. Nintendo amiibo. What does it say? Adventure with Amiibo in the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Record your accomplishments and journey into the challenging Cave of Shadows. Alright, so there we go. Let's take a let's open him up. My bad, quick interruption, but let's open him up. Oh my god, this looks so good. Everybody was telling me this is one of the best amiibos. Oh my god, I'm already, I can already tell. Oh my god. Look at that thing. That thing looks very beautiful. It is very... Very cool. Oh my god. The fur looks nice. The rock looks nice. The chain on him looks nice. Midna. I'm with her. For translucent hair. Oh my god. This might be my favorite amiibo. This might be my favorite amiibo. Oh my god. I don't even want to show you guys because I just want to keep it all to myself. But I will because I'm nice like that. Oh my god. It looks so good, guys. If you, cam, the camera can't show what really what the human eye can see. That's how good this figure looks. Look at that hair, bro. This might be my favorite amiibo. Oh my god. Oh, and on the base, you got the freaking t the Zelda symbol from Twilight Princess, I believe. And wow. The goal, wow. Speaking of Zelda, they did release some new Zelda amiibos. I'm going to have to put him right here. They did release some new Zelda amiibos for the 30th anniversary of Zelda. They released 8-Bit Link, Ocarina of Time Link, and a 2-pack of Toon Link and Toon Zelda from Wind Waker. So yeah, all right. Now let's get to the to the game. Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Look at that artwork, man! Wow. Hey, I'll tell you. When it comes to Zelda, Nintendo knows how to make it pretty. It's pretty much the same back. Become a Legend in HD, and it's got some added new features with Amiibo and stuff. So I'm very excited to play this. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna play this after this video, honestly. <laughs> But let's open it up. The, the cross came in handy. Feliz cumpleaños, Jesus. Get rid of that plastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Let's throw that out. And let's take a look at the disc. Here we have Legends of the Twilight Prince HD. Link on opponent on one side, Wolf Link on, on with Midna on the other side. That's a really cool disc. No manuals. You know, you guys know Nintendo not about that life no more. <clears throat> or pretty much any gaming company, pretty much. I wish they were, but that's how it is. Wow. I'm very excited to play this, guys, honestly. And this amiibo is... Alright, let's see if I can have that like that. Alright, so let's close this box. Let's put that in the back. We got one more thing that I got, which is a game, and I am most excited for this just because I, I've been wanting to play this game for a while. Even though some people did not like it, I have not played it, so I cannot say I do not like it. And that is. Star Fox Zero. Now, just so you know, when I open this game up, I'm not gonna be I'm not touching this game. It's because I'm gonna be doing a let's play. This is the game I've been telling that I've been telling you that I wanted to do a let's play on. I didn't tell you that it was Star Fox Zero, but I said it wanted I was gonna do a co-op because there is a co-op feature in this game, which basically one person's flying the jet, flying the um R wing, and the other person's shooting. So it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be doing that with Michael when I go to Pennsylvania this week. So look forward to that. I am not touching this game. Me and Michael are going to be doing this completely blind. Um, I'm going to be recording the, the TV screen mostly. I'm going to try and find... I don't think I will be able to find a way to record the gamepad, but I will try. I would like to get that, to get Michael's point of view. But I can't make any promises. But all right, let's take a look at Star Fox Zero, baby. 
There's the, I love this. It's, you just got the squad right here and just got the war going on in the background. Like, eh, who cares about that? The R Wing right here, the transformation. Star Fox Zero. This also comes with a bonus uh, game included Star Fox Guard. We all know I'm not going to touch that. But, so as you can see, it's also Amiibo compatible. The Fox Amiibo gives you uh, the classic R Wing. The Falcon Amiibo gives you the a really cool R Wing Nintendo. I do have both Star Fox Zero, Star Fox Guard, and the guy on the side. Nintendo Wii U. Top, nothing much. Bottom, nothing much. Let's take a look at the back. Hurry, Star Fox. You're, a li you're the Lilat system's only hope. Take command with dynamic motion control targeting as your TV and Wii U gamepad controller immerse you in the simultaneous cockpit and cinematic battle views. So yeah, this definitely has a different control scheme than other Star Fox games because we haven't gotten a Star Fox game since the GameCube. And I haven't played that many Star Fox games. I played Assault, I played 64, and now I'm going to play zero. 0. So, this is going to be exciting. Now, people were complaining that this is very similar to Star Fox 64. Now, from what I've seen, it looks like it, but this is a new game. This is not a remake. They already remade it from the 3DS, so don't get that confused. So, I'm going to be going into this game open-minded. And I might do a review of the game once I'm done with everything, because I'm going to 100% this game with Michael, so that's going to be the plan. It's not going to be 100% playthrough, we're just going to play the main story, because um, I'm not, I don't really play that much Star Fox, but you guys will be getting a Let's Play this week, so stay tuned for that. And let's open it, what are we waiting for? Actually, the funny thing is, I ordered this off Amazon, and it came last night, right before, at like 8 o'clock on Christmas Eve, so I was like, oh my god, thank you, this came just in time so I could... What? What the hell? Damn, that was a tough to open. I want to keep this box too. And as you can see, we got the two games right here. Star Fox Zero, what everybody's looking forward to, and Star Fox Guard. Which is basically like a mini game thing, you know. Yeah, it's just... It's just something that's there. They thought Star Fox Zero wasn't enough. But, okay. Whoa. You know what, we'll save the best for last. We'll just take a look at Star Fox Guard. Here is Star Fox Guard. It's their Slippy and somebody else. Robots and nothing much in the back. It's pretty much like a mini game, and that's just put on a disc. That's pretty much it. Let's take a look. Let's open it up, though. Oh, Star Fox Guard, so Amiibo compatible too. I didn't know that. It has the Amiibo icon. Maybe it's just, or maybe it's just they just put it there just so that you know that Star Fox Zero is Amiibo compatible. If it didn't, if the symbol on the game then wasn't enough. Alright, let's take a look at Star Fox Guard. Let's look at the disc. There's literally, that's it. It's literally the disc and no manual. I mean, I mean not manual, but like the pamphlet they usually put in here. That's how minor Star Fox Guard is to what the main game is. It's completely different. I'll probably do a bonus video of the Let's Play showcasing that. But that's probably going to be the only time I play it. And so, wow, this is a really long video. Who cares? It's Christmas. Let's take this, open up. Star Fox Zero. I know. I know. Michael's gonna be really excited to play this because we've been talking about when this came out and how we how, how badly we really wanted to play it, and we really do want to play it badly because you know it's a very exciting game, and you know I trust Shigeru Miyamoto, so let's see how he does with this game. I right, just just get a closer look. I think the disc fell out. No, it didn't. Oh wow, this looks really nice. It's basically a, a more extended version of the. Box art over there. It's like more widened. Looks really cool. And there's the wet Wii U manual. So guys, let's just do a quick review of everything I got for Christmas. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Star Fox Zero. Star Fox Guard. Oh, there was one more thing that I'm getting, but it didn't come in the mail yet. Sadly, it's not going to get here on Christmas. It's a uh, it's a portable charger that's the Master Ball from Pokemon. So I'll show I'll show you guys that once I get it. I'll do an unboxing of it, but yeah. Uh, eShop gift card. This. And I'll show... Socks. Underwear, shirts. And I will show you guys the Amiibo once I get the comparison Amiibo. So I'll be right back actually with that. Alright. Got the other amiibo, so let's do a quick comparison. 
start off with Wario. Here's the Super Mario Wario. And here's the Wario Smash Bros. Wario. Now they, they do look completely different because he's wearing a biker outfit from his WarioWare games and he's wearing the classic Mario outfit. So, yeah. Honestly, if I had to pick which one I like better, hmm. I like this one better. I'm a classic Wario fan, not a WarioWare fan, although this is very detailed. I do like this a lot. I'm not saying I don't like it, just I prefer this one. So, that's pretty cool. Alright, next up, let's do Kirby. No, 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 let's do Donkey Kong. Here's the Super Smash Bros. Donkey Kong. Here's the Super Mario Donkey Kong. Now, let's do a quick rotate, 360 rotation of each. Now, if I had to pick which one I like better, definitely Super Mario one, just because he doesn't have, like, this, this stool going up his ass. So I think this looks better because it's all by himself, you know, and and it looks I Don't know. I just like this one something about it Besides the fact that there's no stand. I just like this one prefer this one Prefer this one over this one, but this one looks nice too. I'm not trying to hate on that All right next let's take a look at let's look at Diddy Kong All right Here's the Super Mario Diddy Kong Here's the Smash Bros. Diddy Kong. Now, if I had to pick one, which one I like better? Actually, I like the Smash Bros. one better. Namely, I mean, one thing I don't like about the Smash Bros. one is that, that yellow stand here. I don't like that. But I like his pose better. You know, he looks like he's leaping out at you. And, you know, compared to this one, he's just on a barrel clapping. And then, don't get me wrong, I like this one. But I like this one more. So let's just get one more look at them. And, yeah. All right. Next up, let's let's take a let's do a comparison of Bay. Here's the Super Mario one, and here's the Smash Bros. one. Smash Bros. one looks really nice. Now this is gonna be hard. Which one do I like better? I like I like the Super Mario one. Okay, because mainly because well, there's no stand holding a Luma, which is not there also, and it's just more. Clear. It's like more like shiny, you know, like more glossed up than than this one. But I do really like this one too. And also, this one's not a Target exclusive. But besides that, the, I prefer this one. I just put those aside. Now let's do the Kirby amiibo. Let's compare Kirby. Now I by by the by the looks of it, I definitely prefer this one just because he looks so cool. He's on a star. He looks like he's about to come at you. You know, woo woo. This one's just sitting down, you know, all happy. You know, for this one. Next, let's look at the King of DDDs. All right, let's take a look at them. Hey, these look actually both of them together look really cool. Looks really cool. The one I like better, I like the Smash Bros. one better because the, the the white on the coat is so much more glossy and like. I like his pose better, you know, he's just like, you know, like that, happy, you know, not really, nothing much to it, which is what I like, it looks like, it looks like it's a figurine. This one looks like it's a figurine that was supposed to do something, besides the functionality, but I do like this one as well, I just prefer this one. And that's pretty much all the comparisons, I'm gonna, also, I just wanted, also brought Meta Knight out just to showcase him with his friends. So before I go, I'm gonna do a quick, like, you know, shot of everything I got together. Just so that you guys could see. So, yeah. And then I'm going to end off this video.
If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to me for more videos, watches, and updates. And I will see you guys in my new Let's Play of Star Fox Zero. And let me know if you guys enjoyed this. I would like to do this more in the future. More like, you know, it's not really a haul, but like it was what I got for Christmas. I'll definitely do it next year. But guys, see you in Star Fox Zero. Bye.